how you doing? What do you say we have a look at the NECA Halloween to Michael Myers? I had this for a couple days, been sitting on it, waiting to review it, and here it is. So that's what we're going to have a look at today. It's the back of the package right there, as you can see. Front of the package, nice artwork. And it looks like it comes with a uh, slashing knife. A hammer, scalpel, syringe, and an extra hand that we can swap out. And uh, more, more importantly, an extra head. So what do you say we uh, get this open and have a closer look? Sitting here looking at this card. It's one to save. I mean, it's nice artwork. You don't really get to see that artwork uh, with the figure in its pack. But that is kind of kind of nice. Nice heavy-duty cardstock, too. Nice to keep. By the way, this was not collector-friendly packaging. Those foldable clamshells like that with the heat presses on it, it's really almost impossible to take those apart and, and plan on putting your figure back in there, so don't plan on that. All right, so here we have Michael Myers. Let's pop out our parts here. Wow. Wow. You really, uh, I'm trying to see if I see the eyes in there. Let me, uh, grab some cheaters here. Oh, yeah, there's some eyes in there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. We may have to turn the camera around. But anyway. We'll have a better look at that in a minute. Come on, Michael. He's in there pretty good. I must say. It's like he's in his own coffin. Well, he's out of the package now. He stands. Maybe these accessories will come out. Pretty easily. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. By the way, don't eat that. It's not a tea bag either, so don't make tea with it either. Let's get this stuff out of here. Just pour it out. All right. Set this aside. First things first. There's a syringe. It's all plastic construction. An extra hand. Here is scalpel. Nicely painted. Here's a nice heavy duty rigid knife. And I mean heavy duty, that's pretty good. And here is a nicely painted claw hammer. Judging by the hook on that, it looks like a framing hammer. Just a thought. Now let's have a look at Michael Myers here. I'm having a look too. I do like the sculpt on the head. Uh, let's see. I want to be careful with these joints. Because you're going to get a lot of restriction in your movement because of these uh, cloth coveralls. So, I'm going to take it easy on that. What does this body look like under here? Let me have a look. Wow. Interesting. So, you see the holes in the coveralls where there's paint around them. Well, they took it a little bit further than that. Because they actually carried that paint onto the torso. I think that's a nice touch. It's a really nice touch. I think it was probably unnecessary, but I'm glad NECA did it. Because uh, if you see through the holes, you will see the red on his skin. I see here, before I go any further here, let me see what this is. Oh, no, that's not. I The foot was like this. I thought maybe that was a mold problem, but it's not. 
It's not a pivot, which is nice. This material on here is so heavy duty. It almost feels as heavy duty as a scale coverall. I don't know if I would want them to uh, make that a thinner material to accommodate the smaller figure, but uh, it's nice that they made it in a very substantial material. So anyway, we've got some back pockets here, front pockets, and no side pockets, and a simple Velcro strap goes up front to carry it on, or to hold it on. And no, I'm not taking these clothes off because I got a feeling it's going to be a bear. We already kind of got a peek at what color this, there is no painted clothes under, uh, under that coverall. It's a body, just a bear skin body. Let's go through the motion here. So we can do the owl. Uh, he can look that. That's about as far back that go as that goes. He looks down that much. Uh, is there any pivot in this head? Not much pivot side to side. That's it. That's about as far forward as I can go on the arm because of the clothing restrictions here. Go back about that far. And uh, you want to be careful with these joints. I'm trying to move them up. Just take it easy. Take it nice and easy. Arm goes up about like so. Uh, and we have inside here a pin in the hand and a hinge. Again, take it easy. These joints are tight. Let's go down here. We have an ab crunch. It goes forward about that much, back about that much. We have a waist pivot. I uh, want to be careful with these legs. They go forward that much. Again, restricted by the clothing. Go back about that much. And they will kick out about that much. Let's see what kind of joint we have in the knee. It feels like a single joint. But we'll check that out here in a minute. Oh, he's got painted socks. And uh, sh shoes look good. I mean, I get what they were doing. They couldn't do a full boot because they wanted to be uh, very articulated. So, get about that much movement, toe down. Uh, not much toe up. But you do get a nice rocker, pin, swivel, whatever you want to call that. It's doing what I want it to do. And more importantly, the joints are snug, which is usually a problem with a lot of figures. Not NECA figures necessarily, but a lot of figures in the six inch scale. This might be in a different scale altogether, but irrelevant. When you start adding all kinds of articulation, one of the things I found in all the figure reviews I've done is very sloppy joints coming right out of the packaging. It drives me nuts. So anyway, yeah. Before we swap out that head, let's have a really good look at this head. I can assure you, I see eyeballs in there. And I'm going to try to get an angle to where you can see the eyeballs. Too. All right. Maybe you can see them. I don't know. But they're in there. There, you can see the glossiness in the eye right there. So they didn't cheat on that. They sculpted an eye in there and they painted it. Very nice. Let's check the other head real quick. Come on. There we go. This one doesn't seem to show up, but it's in there. The other head seems to be a little easier to pinpoint. You have to take my word for it. It's in there. Uh, just a quick thought here, too. NECA also makes these stands. Uh, and up until recently, I mean a few years ago, most of their figures didn't even have peg holes in the bottom. But, you know, these days they're designing all their figures with peg holes. And they sell these really cool stands. I think they come in... I really don't, I, I can't remember if they're packs of two or packs of four, but whatever. They're nice broad base stands, and your uh, figure, hear that? Creak, creak, creak. That means a nice display stand. So, yeah, just a thought. Now, uh, this head, 
if you're going to display him with this head and you want to be movie accurate, you're going to want to display him with a scalpel in his hand. Because uh, that's what he had in his hand. If you remember, he's just kind of swinging around after he was shot and his eyes started bleeding. Well, that's what he had in his hand when he was shot and his eyes were bleeding. Okay, moving right along. Let's see if uh, I can get this changed out real It's just a ball joint inside there, as you can see. Nice ball joint. And then uh, let's pop this back on here. Okay, nice little. Actually, it was easier to get back on than it was to uh, take off. Again, apprehensive about pulling on these figures. You know, you just don't want to snap something. Oh, you know what? It looks like uh, the hand that came pre-installed is already set up for the scalpel. Let's see if I'm accurate on that. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That makes sense. If he's the Halloween 2 with a bloody eye, why not have that hand pre uh, previously installed? So as you can see, he holds that very well. So I might be able to save myself a little trouble here because... Uh, that's a great look right there. Probably uh, take this picture here and pose him just like that. So he's got the one arm down like so. Looks like he's stepping forward a little bit. And he's uh, got this arm really close in. I'm just looking down at the uh, cardstock there. And he's got his hand kind of turned downward. 90 degree angle there. And then, uh, kind of in. And, uh, and he's looking kind of up like so. And it looks like he's, uh, really kind of pissed off right now. Very cool. And as you can see, right here, it tells you, if you look at these photos, which hand that you would be using for that knife. And it clearly is the uh, extra hand. So I'm gonna do a little cheat here, set Michael over here like so. I have the extra hand and the knife. See how easy that goes in there. So far not so easy. You want to be careful to not uh, doesn't like going in that way. Boy, that's a tight fit. That uh, I have to take a look at this card again. Oh yeah, they designed it to where he holds it like this. like that because they're showing it at a relaxed probably get it in a little bit deeper but uh, do I really want to? Oh no, there it is. Not bad. Very tight fit. Very tight fit indeed. And again, I don't know how he's going to hold the hammer. Which hand holds that hammer? Well, that's in there pretty good. I'm going to use a little heat to get that out because I don't want to snap anything. I got it in there, but it's not coming out so easy. Now, the question is, see, that one looks like it's completely designed just for that scalpel. And this hammer is going to be kind of a bear to get in that other hand because that handle is really thick. Much thicker than the knife handle that I forced in there. So, And I don't know... I'd ever use that for displaying, but hey, nice that they gave it to me. Anyway, I must say, you could put this guy in some nice action poses. Um, it's about seven and a quarter inches tall. No, I haven't measured it. I could just kind of get a gauge how tall it is. Nice addition to your Halloween 
collection if you're a Michael Myers fan. I must say. Very cool. Very cool indeed. I think I'm just going to keep him displayed with a scalpel and a bloody mask. When I get tired of it, I'll swap the stuff out. Or maybe he could be a Siamese twin. Like that. What are you talking about? You want to go slash in the night? Why not? Because, uh, you know, sometimes I just want a cheeseburger, see? Anyway. Guys, that's been my look at the neck of Halloween 2, Michael Myers. Bloody eye with a scalpel. Thanks for watching Howlin' Wolf out.